So, I've got a new scorpion. The last one died of what I think was old age. That was an Asian forest scorpion. So I ordered an emperor scorpion to put in this tank. Same one, mixed up the substrate a bit. Put some more humidity in there. Uh, all I know is it's an emperor scorpion. I don't know what the gender is going to be. I don't know what the size is going to be. So we're going to open that up. This is going to be a surprise for all of us. Me and 12 people that might watch this. Pad. Oh, is he going to be little? There he is. He's a lot smaller than I thought he was going to be. He's decently responsive. I might have to get him new food. I breed food in the same setup. Um, I've got a bunch of beetles from the superworms and um, large dubia roaches, and they all hide out in this log. You want to see inside that hole, that little nightmare hole there. Uh, I got a flashlight. Angle this right. It was hard to see them. There's quite a few in there. Um, there's young dubia roaches. They're breeding. They're just all in the substrate. So we'll see what happens there. I've got distinct hides for my last scorpion, which was large. Uh, I think he was four inches. Um, so this guy, he's small enough. He can hide just anywhere. So if I'm ever looking for him, he's going to be probably under the... He might be under the plant. He might be under the water bowl. He might be way in the back of there. He might be under the rock. You never know. Alright, let's house this guy. Come on. No, I'm burying you. There you go. He's fine. There. Oh. Come on. Don't be shy. There he goes. New lands. My last scorpion had its, uh, I think it had its stinger clipped, which I guess is fine for those species that don't really rely on their venom, like an Asian forest scorpion or, or this emperor scorpion, but I still find it really humane, or inhumane. Um, I like that they didn't do it with this guy, you can tell, it's very sharp. And he's back there. He's already exploring. Is he going to dig right there? No. Let me just... Dump the remainder of this. Hey. 
Nope, he was treating back there. It doesn't hurt to have some of his old substrate in there, just for familiarity. They can... They have some chemical tracing, kind of like tasting or smelling, on the bottom of their body, little organs called pectines, and they feel around when they're walking with those. They kind of look like little brushes. You can barely see them. He's wedged right there between the glass and the log. So I've given him a few moments to acclimate. He's walked around and he's picked his cave here and he's already started to dig it out. I think it's going to be a little bit before he's willing to eat, but I'll try to capture the first time I feed him. But that's that. He's already picking a, a living space. I don't think it'll be a problem keeping him with some big roaches here and beetles um, they've never been aggressive towards each other or any other insects I put in there to feed my last scorpion they should just be gentle giants until the scorpions big enough to eat them oh, there he is he carried some substrate Well, the way he does it, if I can capture it, is he takes the first four legs and he scoops up some dirt and then he walks backwards with his back four legs and he drags that dirt away from the area and he just repeats the process. And I've seen other scorpions do this. He'll repeat the process until he's got a hole dug. And there he is. Looks like he's settling in there. 